File system task is one of the most important tasks in uh, SQL Server integration services, and it do actually it use a system that I O dot net uh, object uh, library class to do some kind of operations like copy file, delete file, move file, rename file, and, and also it use uh, some kind of methods to set attributes like hidden archive and or that sort of thing and uh, you can uh, do actually directory uh, stuff like moving directory creating or removing directory with file system task as well for checking the file system task I'll create a new folder in samples I name this new folder as file system task. Then I gonna to create a new SQL Server integration services project in this folder. Okay, I choose integration service projects from templates. I choose the path. Okay, path seems to be too big. So I choose samples and then I remove file system task from here I named this solution as control flow tasks okay in this solution I'm going to add a new package to work with file system Okay, I renamed this package as file system task. Now I'm going to do a simple copy. For example, suppose that we have a board document file here sample document and we want uh, and we want to put this in archive folder and as you can see there is no archive folder right now so I am going to create the archive folder with file system task as well uh, one of the important uh, usages and common usages of the file system task is to archive files uh, when uh, files coming through uh, a shared folder or <coughs> through a directory on server you can uh, archive those files before and after the ETL and then uh, you can do some kind of reconciliation in your uh, ETL jobs as well and uh, good things about file system task and many other tasks in uh, control float uh, are that they are uh, accepting uh, variables so source and destination can be variable in file system task in this example i will uh, try to copy the sample document to an archive folder the archive folder i put the archive folder in C drive so as you can see there is no archive folder in C drive oh let's be consistent and create an archive folder in this location as well so I will create a archive folder if there is no archive folder I will create that one and then copy this file into that folder all with SQL Server integration services First of all, I need to have uh, variables. I right click on, the, on this area, choose variables. This is the variable pane. I create a new variable. I name this variable as source 
file path. I choose data type as string. I will talk about variables and their data types more in the future. For now, we just focus on running this sample. So the value of this variable, I want to keep the value of this variable as the path of this file. So I copy the directory address, put it in the value, and at the end I put sample document doc x. So this is our uh, variable or uh, source file path variable. Another variable I want to create, uh, when you hit this button, this will create a new variable, uh, is the destination folder. Suppose that we want to create a destination folder in the same location as the source folder, but uh, and now, uh, to a folder named archive. So the destination folder data type should be again a string, but the value uh, we do not know the value for now, so we want to calculate the value based on the source file path. So one of the way to do some kind of um, calculations and functions in uh, SQL Server integration services is expressions. Expressions are a specific language in uh, integration services which is similar to C Sharp but not uh, 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 this is not equal to C Sharp. Uh, functions name are a bit similar. Uh, the usage of function are a bit similar, but they are not uh, exactly similar. I will talk about expressions in the dynamic uh, video in the future. So for now, I just use uh, um, expression task. I drag and drop expression task from SSIS toolbox. This is completely new task in SSIS 2012. I renamed this task as generate destination folder path. When I double click on this task, you can see that there are two, uh, uh, there are three panes here. The first pane is variables and parameters. We have source file path and destination folder here. And the right pane actually has the uh, list of functions to do some kind of uh, expressions. For example, one function is a lower, which will actually return lower case of the specific string. And here in the expression, you can write your own expression. And uh, when you evaluate expression, you will see the evaluation result. For now, I want to actually find the folder of the, uh, the folder out from source file path. So one of the string functions, which is token count, will return number of tokens in the specific string. I use token count and I set source file path here. And for the delimiter, I choose double backslash. The reason of using double backslash is that the reason is that uh, the single backslash is reserved uh, character so we use another for uh, kind of uh, literal things. So when I uh, evaluate this expression you will see that we have seven uh, tokens. Seven tokens means that uh, e is one token, data another token, each uh, character string between these two uh, delimiters can be a single token. So the next part of this is that to get the latest token of this string, so I use source file path again and I use same delimiter expression. I want the token, the last token, so I put this in, so I put that one in occurrence. 
So you will see that we actually get the file name of this. So for uh, fetching the um, folder name, uh, we just need to replace uh, to remove replace this part with the uh, empty string. So I use replace string here. And in replace string, I say that I want source file path, and our search expression is the file name, and we want to replace it with the empty string. So you will see that we. Uh, are able to get the folder, the source folder, uh, uh, with this expression. So, and uh, right now we want to create an archive folder. So I put the archive here, and you will see that the archive folder generated in, with this expression. And for putting this result into destination folder, I put destination folder variable here and an equal character here. This means that the result of this expression at this stage will be loaded into this variable. Don't worry about these uh, expressions. We will uh, return to this expression in future in the dynamic videos. Actually, So this is generate destination folder path expression task. Then I use a file system task. First of all, I want to check if destination path is uh, exist or not, and if this is not exist, create this. So I uh, rename this file system as create destination or create archive folder. I choose the first task, uh, um, I click on the precedence constraint, this arrow means precedence constraint and shows the priority of tasks. When I connect this to the second one, this means that the first task will be executed and then the second task. Now I double click on this task and I choose the operations. As you can see, we have operations here. I, uh, lots of operations are exist here. I choose operation to create directory. Uh, when you can, when you see here, for some of operations, we have a source connection and destination connection. For example, for move file, we have source connection and destination connection. But for for example, creation directory, we have just uh, one connection because we want to create di that directory in single connection. So I choose create directory. I choose operation as a create directory and uh, I choose source pass is source pass variable. Yes, source pass variable and source variable should be actually the directory that we want to create, the actual path of directory that we want to create. That directory path is actually in destination folder variable. So I choose destination folder variable here. You can see that there are um, much more variables here. Starts with system prefix, but our uh, the variables that we created starts with the user. These are different domains of uh, variables. I will talk about system variables in future as well. Uh, we also want to create that directory if uh, not exist. So I use, mm, I set the use directory if exist to true. This means that if directory exists, then this will not be overwritten. So that's it. I hit OK, and this will create the archive folder. Uh, you will see that uh, red button here. This means that we have an error in this task. When I hover mouse on this red button, this shows that variable destination folder is used as a source and destination uh, or destination and is empty. Uh, this the reason of that uh, is that uh, our destination folder is empty, but it will be populated in this stage, so it will have values in this stage, but uh, SSIS right now are in the validation step, 
and check this in compilation state. So we have two ways of get rid of this uh, error button because this is just for uh, compile time uh, and we will not see this error message in runtime. So a way to get rid of this is to set a default value here and this default value will be will be overwritten in this step at runtime so we do not need to be uh, actually uh, worry about the default folder I set it for example to C test and when we go back here you will see that this message are gone. Another way to do that is to set delay validation of that task to true uh, that I will talk about this in the future. Okay now I want to put another file system task and this file system task intends to copy uh, file to archive folder. So after creating archive folder we want to copy that file to archive folder. I uh, connect the precedence constraint after that create archive folder to this new file system task. When I double click on this, uh, the first operation and default operation is copy file. We want to do same and our source path is variable. So I choose variable. We can choose source path uh, as a direct address. So if I leave this as false, I can choose the source connection, I can create a new connection to an existing file directory or something like that. But for now we are using variables so I choose a source pass variable to true and source variable is our source file path. And our destination is the directory that this file exists. Is destination path variable true? and our destination variable is destination folder. And do we want to overwrite destination? This means that if that uh, file exists should be overwritten or not, I choose true. So that's all. This is what uh, we created for doing this archive thing. I save this, I go back to that folder and you will see that we have sample document but we don't have a uh, archive folder here and when I run this package you will see that this all done successfully when I go back to this folder, you will see that archive folder created and this file actually exists there. This means that this uh, archive folder created and file copied. So benefits of uh, these uh, files is, this, is that if we uh, wants to do something else, for example, I create uh, another document I named this as document2.xlsx and uh, this package actually designed for that uh, Word document but we can uh, change it very simply by changing the vari source variable with this file name. So I choose this file name, I go here, I go to source file path and I replace word document with this, sorry. So now when I run this package again, you will see that archive folder are exist and didn't recreate it again because this is archived this has already some files on it so it is good to check if this is exist then do not create it again and this is our new document 
So benefits of uh, variables and expressions are that we can actually make our package uh, more dynamic. And uh, the greater dynamic value of this package and this solution can be a uh, loop uh, structure here to uh, loop around all files in source folder and archive all of them uh, in the archive folder. I will continue this sample in uh, one of future videos about uh, for each loop structure and there you will see that how we can use uh, for each loop uh, variables and expressions to do some kind of dynamic things like archiving folder. This was a sample of uh, file system task for doing archive files for a single file but with expression and source and destination variable.